Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically how we can determine a family budget, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So what we have here on the screen is a screenshot from a family budget calculator, and I've written the URL up here for you. It's from the Economic Policy Institute. So if you go to epi.org, on the menu on the top, you'll see a button that says resources, hover over that, and the second option should be the family budget calculator, or you could just go straight to the site by typing in epi.org slash resources slash budget. When you get there, it's going to ask you at the very top, you're going to get some drop downs, how many adults, how many children. So I just chose two adults, two children. What you need to do is you need to search for the area. So I live in the Fort Worth, Arlington metro area in part of Texas. So I just uh, did the Fort Worth, Arlington metro area. You can also search by county if you live in a very small town. So find the smallest um, area, unit of area that is near where you live. And if you can't find that city, then maybe search for the county. And then once you have that, all of these numbers are going to pop up. So according to the Economic Policy Institute, they are going to tell you that you need $1,242 a month for housing, $728 for food, child care, transportation, so on and so forth. Now remember, this is for two adults and two children. So as you adjust those two, things start to change. So monthly, you should need about $6,500, which turns into a little bit less than $80,000 annually in order to meet your basic needs. Now this doesn't mean you're going... Uh, to the movies every weekend and you're eating out every single night, you're just meeting your basic needs based on this estimate. But what does that mean in regards to what you need to earn at an hourly wage? Well, let's figure this out. Let's just do it monthly. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my 6588. Let's just go and round that. Call it 6600 just to be just to be safe. Now, let's say you work full time, you're out of school, so you're going to work 40 hours a week, and you're going to do that four weeks a month. So let's call that 160 hours per month. So you need to make $6,600 a month. You're going to work 160 hours per month. So hopefully, you see that we've got a uh, we got a fraction here, and we just need to do a little bit of division. So let's divide 160 hours into 6,600 to see what we need to make. So let's see if that's going to be... 4 is going to actually get me pretty close. So that's going to be 24. So look at that. That is 640. So that is going to get me... Let's see, 200. All right, so let's just say it's going to be 41. I did round up. That's going to give me 40. So let's just call it a little bit more than 40. Let's call it $41. All right, so if you do $41 an hour, you'll get about what you need, this 65.88. Remember, I did round up. So $41 per hour times 40 hours a month. But here's the problem. You need to earn $41 per hour in your net pay. But remember, in seventh grade, we spent a lot of time talking about net pay versus gross pay. So your net pay needs to be $41, but that's after taxes. And so we're going to say taxes, like payroll tax, your Social Security tax, Medicare, are about 10%. So we need to add 10%. So 10% of 41 is going to be 4.1, right? So that's going to be about 4 bucks. So we need to take a $41. We need to add $4 because we just took our decimal point and moved it over, right? So you need to make about 45 bucks an hour. Now, the nice thing is, is you've got two adults in the house. So what you could do is you can divide that by two, and if each of the adults works, you get about twenty-two fifty an hour, and you are good to go.